The Kaluga is a fish that is now so rare that I wasn't even given permission to try and catch one, even if I was going to put one back. But to give an idea of how abundant they used to be, this method here used to be used a lot, used to work. Now what it is, it's one piece of line with weights at intervals, that sits on the bottom, and then coming off at intervals are short lengths of line, each with a hook on the end. And so what happens, the Kaluga swimming up the river, they've got fins which stick out, they bump into this line here, and they get impaled on the hook like that. That used to work. That gives you an idea of how many there used to be in the river. But the only way I was going to get to see one was by working with some scientists who were doing a survey to see what are the numbers that remain in the river. They were using drift nets. They would pay out a net into the water, they'd then, then let it come down with the current. Often it would be out for an hour or even more, and then they would pull it in. And a number of times, there's nothing, nothing. But then eventually, we found entangled in the meshes on Kaluga. So they are still there but the signs are that they're not going to be there for much longer. So this is it, the Kaluga sturgeon of the Amur River. Now, this is big by normal freshwater fish standards, but by the standards of what this fish can potentially grow to, this is a small one. These fish grow well over a thousand pounds. Big one of these, 15 foot long. I can well believe now the stories of those smashing boats. 